All right, y'all, I'm coming at you with a crazy story for you today. Today, we're talking about how I was tripping on mushrooms and my landlord broke into our apartment. This shit happened a little over a year ago at this point. This was my first apartment. I just bought it with my buddy and a few other friends. We all threw down for the fucking apartment. First, last security, you know the deal. So, on this day, we were all just kind of chilling at home in the crib, smoking in this fucking kitchen, just chilling, having a fucking grand old time, you know, and one of our buddies that lived with us comes down, and he's like, yo, boys, I got two full mushroom chocolate bars for us, if y'all want to fucking eat it, and at this point, it was pretty early in the morning, so I was like, you know, maybe a little later, man, I'm not feeling it right now, like, It's fucking early. I got to get something to eat before I do anything like that. And he agreed. So we all fucking mob down to the corner store. We get ourselves some fucking sandwiches, a drink, and we head back to the crib. I actually think I got a coffee. I usually get a coffee, you know. Got to. We head back to the crib, and we also got some blunt wraps. Fucking smoked hella blunts back in that crib. We get back to the house. We start fucking munching down. And at this point, we've been in the apartment for three months, maybe four, and shit was not going well. The fucking apartment was leaking, there was black mold everywhere, and we kind of just contacted our landlord like, hey, this shit needs to be fixed before we're paying rent, you know? Like, we've addressed this a few times and you've never done anything about it, now it's getting to the point where it's like, not good for our health to live in here, you need to fix this before we can, like, give you rent, you know, and he did not like that, our landlord was not impressed with that, but we went through, like, all the shit of getting the fucking mold treatment, trying to get the state to come in and look at it and shit, hell of a fucking time, if y'all ever find black mold and shit in your apartment, just fucking leave, just leave, Do not try to stay and try to reason with your landlord, because more than likely your landlord's a piece of fucking shit. Sorry. (laughs) So, we get back to the crib, we're eating, and after we all eat, we roll up a doink, and we start smoking that shit, and I'm feeling good, so I'm like, yo, can I have some of those chocolate bars? Like, yeah, sure, like, you and your, uh, me and you will split one, and then the other... Uh, one, the other two will split. Like, okay, word. I forget what the dosage worth was in those chocolate bars. I think it was like, I don't know. I think your dosage was supposed to be two chocolates, and we ate four. Oh, excuse me. We ate four, and I think there was 12 in each. Yeah, 12 in each. I, we left like one row left. So we munched those down. And we're like, all right, we're going to have a chill day. So we all decided to go on, go for a walk down to the park. My buddy had his dog, so we were just all for it. We rolled up another blunt, and we walk over to the park. We're just chilling there at the park, you know, having a grand old time. And we start walking back, have some conversations with the people on the street, you know, just fucking around pretty much. Like, we're stoned, we're just getting ready for this come up to hit us. And we get back to the crib again, and now I'm starting to feel it like my body's getting heavy. We just kind of start sitting in the kitchen, bumping music, and not even like 30 minutes to an hour after we get back to the house, we hear fucking knocking on the door. We're like, the fuck is that? Like, what is that? So one of my buddies goes over, looks through the people, he's like, yo, it's the fucking landlord. And we're all like, okay, fuck. Like, yo, just kind of pretend like we're not here. Just pretend like we're not here. None of our cars are, like, even parked out front. Like, let's just chill in the kitchen, turn off the music. Like, he's not even going to know we're here. What is he going to do? So he continues knocking for, like, five minutes. He called my buddy quick. And then he fucking opens our door. He puts a key that he had into our door. And fucking walks right into our house. And as soon as he walks into the house. Like oh hey guys. Like fucking just talked to us. Saying like he's coming to look at the mold. Like 
making sure everything's okay, like when we're going to pay rent and everything, we explain to him again, like, you kind of have to fix this before, like, there's mold all over the fucking bathroom, our drain doesn't work in the fucking uh, shower, and just nasty shit, like, the house next to us, their fucking septic tank went into the street, like, when they would flush their toilet, use their sink, their water would go into the fucking street, bro, like, this was a nasty ass apartment. But besides the point. So he he just fucking comes in. He goes downstairs into our basement where like the black mold was before we moved in and we told them like clean it up and we'll move in. They said they did. They did not. So he goes downstairs, start fucking looking around, and I'm not like he just was not very good at speaking English. He's I had a very heavy, like, Eastern European accent. I think he was, uh, I don't even know. I don't, I don't want to assume what ethnicity it was, but I know he wasn't full American. It was, like, English was not his first language. So he goes downstairs, looking around. We're all just sitting there. My anxiety is just through the roof at this point. I'm like, bro, we just started fucking tripping. Like, everything's breathing. The walls are breathing. Like, I, I don't know what to do, and all of our fucking bongs and shit were just sitting on the fucking kitchen counter when he comes in, we had no time to prepare, like, he just walked in the door, we thought he was just gonna go away, which I'm pretty sure is illegal, but not positive, so he comes back up, and I'm just, like, tripping sack, I'm sure he could notice, I'm sure my eyes were fucking bowling balls, but he comes in and talks to us, he's like, Okay, I'm going to have someone come in and fix this. Oh, I forgot. There was a big leak in the roof, and it was leaking down all the way down to our bottom floor and to our living room, and it caused a huge fucking hole in the roof of our living room, and it uh, we had a bathroom upstairs, and it completely destroyed the back wall. Like It was like a sponge. It was so wet. You could just push in through the fucking drywall. It was gross. But... He's like, okay, I look downstairs, like, we'll get someone to come in and clean up the black mold downstairs, just put, like, a dehumidifier down there, and, like, keep it from getting wet, you know? No moisture down there. Like, okay, what about the leak in the roof? Like, what about the bathroom upstairs? So he goes and looks upstairs, and he, like, tries to poke his finger through the wall, it goes straight through, he's like, oh, okay. Like, he goes back out to his fucking truck. And just grabs fucking Rust-Oleum spray paint and starts spraying behind our fucking toilet to seal the fucking paint so it didn't like come in. He used like waterproof spray paint and I know for a fact that does not help fucking anything. The whole back wall was destroyed like the wall and the drywall need to be replaced. It was done like even the supporting beams were rotten because of the water damage. He just sprays his fucking spray paint and says, you know, don't come in here for a little bit, but it'll be good. We're like, okay, I guess. But he's like, I'll get someone to repair the roof and then we'll be okay. Goes back downstairs, goes out to his car. And we're just sitting in the kitchen at this point. We're like, has he left yet? No. So he fucking calls someone to come in and look at, uh, look at the shit. And... Uh, he comes in with him that this time, and we're all just fucking tripping balls at this point. Like, we are all peeking at this point. And they go down to the basement again to look at the furnace, I guess. Because that was another thing that was wrong. We had no heat in the house, and that would reflect on them as being bad, you know. So he just brought a mechanic in, or, or I don't even know what the fuck you call it. Some furnace guy to come look at the furnace. And he's like, yeah, this thing's fucked. Like, the whole, this is not going to work. You need to replace the furnace. So, we are just like, fuck. We're receiving all of this bad news while tripping. And I honestly don't even remember what happened most of the rest of the day. I was just like, yo, guys, I need to, like, go fucking watch TV or something and smoke some weed. Because my anxiety is through the roof. And everyone else was like, yeah, like, we're all tripping sack. I do believe... After that happened, though, we went to a fucking huge block party that was a few blocks away from us. Like, literally a whole street filled with people. But, that'll be for another story. 
I hope you all enjoyed. Hope you're having a great day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day.